Hey guys, welcome back. Man, I gotta tell you, I didn't realize. I looked inside my store for my fishing lures and well, I am pretty much wiped out. I have like nothing left in there. So I'm going to paint up some crankbaits today and I'm going to start loading up my store with a bunch of new baits. So stay tuned for that. But I think we're going to do a bluegill inspired crankbait today. So uh, let's dive in and uh, see what we come up with. Alrighty. Now the first color we're going to go with, now don't tell anybody my secret, but it's going to be a folk art color. Let's see if we can get you in there. Now this is a color shift, as you can see. And this is going to be called Green Flash. So this we're going to go and we're going to do about halfway down here on the bait, straight up. And we'll uh, get a coat of this on all three and we're going to let this dry. Now, using this paint, it's definitely got to be thinned. This stuff is super thick, so keep that in mind if you're going to try it. But awesome color. I promise you that if any of you lure guys aren't using this, try it. Amazing color. You guys will love it. Promise. All righty. So we got our color loaded up. We're going to start at the tail, like I said. We're going to do basically just about halfway down the body and up on top of there so let's check it make sure we're spraying all right just like that we want that to fade down nicely into that white uh, you yeah, were pretty good on that. I think we're just going to darken it up just a little bit. All right. Let's do all three. Let me get this up closer for you guys so you can see. Here is up top. Along the sides, you can see we left the belly on this white. We left around the gill plates very white as well. All right. Now, I have a couple different reference photos that I use. Now, here is one. Here is another. You can see... These are both completely different. So if you actually look at this one, in this area right here is actually a little bit of like a pinkish color. So what we are going to do is we're going to make up a pink. And on both sides in that area, we're going to kind of just do a little bit of a pink on there just to bring a little more realism into that. Alrighty, I got some pink mixed up. Now when I say pink, I don't mean bright, bright pink. I'm talking about just a very light kind of flesh toned pink. So we're not going to go crazy with this. Like I said, we're just going to do just a little patch in here. And this is, again is just to add for some realism. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see on camera what we're doing there. Just honestly, just a little bit. Might go a little bit darker here, but honestly, just a little bit. So I went a little darker with it, all right? I, I, not exactly what I wanted to do, but it's okay. It's not going to uh, it's not going to be too much, too bad because uh, we're going to actually cover a lot of that up as well. But again, this is just to add some realism into this bait. And that is about it. We're gonna be doing some stripes on this 
and that's going to cover up a lot of the sides of this as well as we're going to add some green in here as well some moss green which will that'll change up the look of this as well so here we are this is what we got right now you can see on both sides you guys will see it will all come together so you can see in our photo here again we have blue back from the tail down onto the belly here and then obviously around the lower part of the gill plate this one you can see a little bit around the gill plate there nothing really on the bottom i like the way this one looks so this is what we're going to go with here so for this i'm going to be using createx's wicked colors this is going to be laguna blue so i'm going to shake this up we're going to get it into the cup and we are going to add the blue Alrighty, we got the blue mixed up. Let's get this going now. Again, we're gonna do along the bottom of the tail area, about halfway down the stomach, the belly, and then obviously around the gill plate. came out of the gun it's okay we can fix that we'll let that dry that coat okay I think I'm pretty happy with the blue on that. You can see around the gill plate there, around the bottom. You can see that, here we go. The look we got on that right now so far. So there we go. Now, now we're gonna really get it looking more like a bluegill here. We are gonna do some stripes on it that typical bluegill stripe pattern that they have. You can see both of these kind of similar here, stripes going down the sides, as well as this one. This one's got more of a broken up pattern, but we're gonna go with some stripes down the side now. So for that, we're going to use, let's see. Um, let's go with the detail sepia that is right there this is from createx wicked colors that's going to be the next step all right now i promise you guys <laughs> this looks kind of wacky and looks crazy right now but this is where it's going to all start coming together i have to just figure out what size pattern here to go with and to get these lined up correctly and i lay this in place and try and hold that in place and see if we can't come down just a little further all right here we go
go ahead and color set this real quick. The heat set that I mean. We're gonna do another coat. Let me show you guys what that looks like real quick. Here we are. You can see we get that bluegill pattern going. Now I have to do that on this side and then on the other one. So I won't bore you with all of that, but there we go for now. Don't forget guys, we still have to add more color to this. So hang in there and be patient. It'll all come together. I'm just going to show you what this looks like. Here we go with our pattern. Whoop. Let's see here. Can we get it to focus? There we go. We want that. So I'm just going to take this detail sepia now, and I'm just going to kind of dust over the bait itself to kind of blend this in a little bit better. Blend everything in. I'm going to go kind of darken up this pink just a tiny bit it's gonna go over the side of the bait basically this doesn't really do a whole lot to your bait very subtle but but it's very good great color to have in your arsenal so let's take you in, let you see that a little bit better now. You can see. Definitely coming together better now. So let's move on to our next color. Shaking up the next color. The next color again is another Createx Wicked Colors. This is Detail Moss Green. And now this is gonna be where we're gonna really start really bringing this bait together. You can see the dark green along the top comes down the sides a little bit, obviously around the gill plate area. So let's dive into this one now. Alrighty, here we are. Now, like I said, we're gonna take this moss green. We're gonna go down the back of the bait down the shoulders a little bit kind of blend into those stripes and around the gill plate Start with just the tops of these. Now I'm gonna get around the gill plate here. Check that out for now. Here we are. Let's see if we can get it better. There we are. See down the back, around the gill plate. So let me heat set these. We'll get a couple more coats on just to darken it up a little bit. And we will move on to some final steps. All right, now I'm gonna take our detail moss green. I'm just going to go over the sides just a little bit, just to kind of blend this stuff in a little bit more. You can see we're still keeping the color. Let's see here. Come on, focus. You can see we're, we're still keeping our color, but we're just kind of blending it in just a little bit.
leaving that pink showing through just a tiny bit. That's all we wanted, right? Originally. Alrighty. Now we're gonna get into doing the belly on this. And for the belly, I am going to go with this Createx Pearlized. Now this is Pearl Tangerine. I want a nice bright spot underneath. I might take a little bit of the detail sepia and I might just blend in a little bit underneath, just a tiny bit, but that's gonna be the next color we're going with. All right, so here we are. Like I said, this is underneath the head, underneath the go plates here. We're probably gonna go just back on the other side of where this X-Acto knife is holding this. So let's see if I can get kind of this in camera. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to or not, but let's try. I'm not gonna go crazy heavy. I don't want it super bright orange, but at the same time, So that looks pretty good just like that. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Here we are. You can see just how much I did. Nothing too crazy. Just along the bottom side of that. And I think I'll go up towards the gill plate just a tiny bit. Just kind of fill that in. Kind of give us that little bit of a triangle there. But there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. This is, again, Createx Wicked Colors. This is their Detail Black. So, let's get this on. Put this hairbrush down for a minute. Going to try and, let me see the picture. Basically right down this lateral line here. I'm gonna hold that there. So guys, here we are. My camera died when we did this last stop, last step, but we put a dot on here. Kind of blended the nose a little bit, a little black around the eyes, just a little bit down the back. You can see we still have that dark green, the stripes. You can see the pink just a tiny bit in there. I'm trying to get it under the light so you guys can really see the color on this. You got the blue on the gill, the blue on the bottom the orange under that gill plate area. And that's what we have. So next step is going to be gluing in eyes. And then we're gonna be wrapping this bait up. Alrighty guys. So the next step is we're gonna glue in some eyes. These are the eyes I'm choosing here in the middle. Those right there. We are going to glue them in. And I think they'll look great on this bait here so let's glue in some eyes and there you have it that is in so we're gonna do the rest of these and we will get on to the next step which will be putting a nice clear finish on them eyes installed they are now ready to be cleared let's take you in for one more closer look at this. Let's see here. All right, let's get into our 
final step here. Well, one of our final steps in which we are going to apply our clear finish on this. Now I use Bob Smith's Industries. This is BSI. For now, we have a resin and a hardener. You mix them 50-50 and it's super important to mix them exactly the way or um, to the exact amounts. I use these medicine cups and uh, for example, I'll do like up to a half teaspoon with the resin and then up to like the one teaspoon with the hardener or I'll do, you know, 0.25 milliliters, whatever, and up to five milliliters with the next one. But I mean, nothing really too exciting here. All we're going to do is mix that in a cup. I give it a quick stir, and then I begin coating with an acid brush that I get from Harbor Freight. Um, now you'll see I put a little green tape on that. Now I partially put it on the metal part of the brush and over the hairs of the brush because that prevents any um, bristles coming out, you know, when you're trying to brush on epoxy. The last thing you really want is one of these little hairs on your bait and it's cleared rock hard not a good look so i'm going to mix this up 50 50 and i'll start coating a bait and i'll let you guys see that in process once that is complete then the last step is just throwing on hooks so uh, i did once one thing on here i didn't show that yet put my logo on the bottom but that is about it so I'm going to mix up this BSI, I'm going to stir it up real quick and we'll start applying it. here you go they are cleared again this is BSI great 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 epoxy to use like I said the only only thing I don't like is get you a better clip underneath these lights the only thing I don't really like too much with this BSI is the working time and knowing I can only really coat about three baits but I'm definitely going to look into using Illumilite UV in the near future alrighty guys we've got them all cleared they got the hooks installed let's see the final results <laughs> 